Ah, to you, my dear. Welcome, welcome. How wonderful it is to see you once again. Hmm? <laughs> oh, of course. My apologies. Let me just bring myself back down to earth. Gently and... There. Goodness. What must you think of me greeting you in midair like that? Please, forgive my manners. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. I've been thinking of ways to spice up my entrance. Audience these days seem to crave the impossible. Just imagine their faces if I were to float onto the stage, like a cloud across the moon. That would surely get them fired up, don't you think? Marvellous. But wait, what am I doing, keeping you standing in the doorway like that? Please, come in. Sit wherever you like. Before you ask, yes, the chasse is real velvet. May I offer you a drink? I have anything you could possibly... Hmm? Oh, don't be alarmed, my dear. It's just for security purposes. Please, understand. I can't just have anyone wandering in here. This is rather a competitive industry. You'd be surprised how often I catch myself a little snoopy two-shoes who claims they'd simply gotten lost. Unlikely story, but in any case, locking the door is the very least I can do to protect myself. How do I know you're not a spy? <laughs> oh, my dear, I could sense it as soon as you stepped on stage with me. Those who would steal my secrets always have this conniving air about them. Fake smiles plastered on, their eyes darting here and there, like a thief in a jewelry shop. Their every movement positively drips with ghoul. But you, my dear, I get no such vibes from you. That smile you wore as you stepped into the light, as bright as the morning sun, yet with a touch of shyness as you pondered the wonders to come. So eager, yet so soft, like a bride awaiting her partner's kiss. Such an honor that could never come from someone with ill intent. No, it can only come from one with a pure and honest heart. A rare find in this business indeed. Ah, but forgive me, where were we? Oh yes, your drink. I have anything your heart desires. Tea, lemonade, sparkling water. Or perhaps you're in the mood for something a bit more stronger. I also have a variety of spirits. Tea? Yes, of course. What flavor will you have? Mmm, an excellent choice. I'm rather fond of that blend myself. You have very good taste. Did you enjoy the show? Marvelous. That means a great deal, especially coming from you. I must thank you again for being such a wonderful volunteer. Not everyone is so open-minded or so good-humored. Too often I either get the skeptics who volunteer with the sole purpose of trying to disprove the trick, or else the spies like I mentioned before. Or, if they're neither of those, then they're utter morons who can barely even hold the props right side up. But to have someone like you, whose sense of childlike wonder is still untouched by the cynical world, it almost felt like the good old days. The pleasure was all mine, my dear. Have you ever thought about a career on the stage? I think you'd be a natural. I'm quite serious. In fact, I've been considering taking on an assistant. After seeing you on stage earlier, I think you'd be perfect. Would you... Would you perhaps be interested? And there's that modest streak shining through. Yet another of your endless endearing traits. You'd be wonderful. You take direction well. You have a natural flair for performing. And your beauty and your wit put the gods themselves to shame. I could look at a thousand years or more and never find one more suitable than you. Very well. I'll prove it to you. Lovely, isn't it? 100% silk. Over 50 years old. 
It once belonged to my grandfather. Look inside. Do you see anything? Now, watch closely and presto. Meet Daisy. Yes, that's right. She's been my faithful companion ever since I first took to the stage. She is, indeed. Still, one can only get so far with the feathered friend. After a while, one starts to long for something more. Someone who can actually carry on a conversation. Someone who understands you, who knows your dreams and your fears, and shares theirs with you in return. Someone to stand beside you, to hold you through the storms of life. But, in any case, tell me, how did I do it? There was nothing in the hat you saw. How could I have possibly made her appear from nowhere? Exactly. I just placed my finger here, lift up, and voila, a dove-sized compartment. Don't worry, I don't keep her cooped up here around the clock. She has a lovely cage all of her own. Good girl, Daisy. Hmm? Oh, you'd be surprised, my dear. There's an astonishing number of fools in the world who can barely add two and two. Still, if you need more convincing, I'd be happy to oblige. How about this one? Hmm? True, we don't usually reveal our secrets to just anybody. But everyone bends the rules now and then. Why draw a line in the sand if not to tempt the people to cross it? Besides, you would never betray me, would you, my dear? You would never use my secrets against me. Of course not. Now, I'm just going to keep shuffling. Stop me whenever you like. Okay, let's see what we've got. Ah, the Ace of Hearts. Perfect. Now, would you write your name on it for me? There we go. Now, let's take the card and put it back in the deck. We'll cut the deck here and here. Give it a shuffle and... With a snap of my fingers, I've made your card vanish from the deck. Don't believe me? Go and take a look. Would you look at that? Ace of clubs, ace of diamonds, ace of spades, but no ace of hearts. <laughs> Not quite. You're willing to check my sleeves if you like. Sadly, though, all you'll find is my wrists. Would you like to show me where it really is? As you wish. Here, catch. If I were to cut that orange open, I wonder what we'd find inside. <laughs> yes, Way. All we need is a nice, sharp knife. May I? Why so hesitant, my dear? It's just an orange. It won't feel a thing. Thank you. There we go. A quick cut here and here. Separate the halves and voila, a card. And not just any card. Your card. The Ace of Hearts, signed with your name. You tell me, my dear. Think through it, step by step. Precisely. It's quite simple. A duplicate card with the help of a little double-sided tape. The first card, the one you signed, seemed to have disappeared from the deck, only to supposedly reappear inside the orange, when in truth, the card in the fruit is a double. Hmm, good question indeed. How could I have gotten your signature in order to prepare the duplicate? Oh no, my dear, you don't need to apologize. The hour is late, and you've had quite the busy day. It's only natural that you be tired. Think back to earlier. Was there anything else that you signed recently? <laughs> Correct, marvelous, my dear. A mind as sharp as the daggers point. Now, do you see? You were born for the stage. How could you deny such a clear sign of fate? Together we shall be the historian and his awe-inspiring assistant. Together, we shall sweep the world off its feet. 
Hm? What's that, my dear? I didn't quite catch it. No. Oh, but my dear, how could you possibly give up such an opportunity? The chance to do what you were made for. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You're not going anywhere, my dove. The way you're slurring your words, you're clearly in no shape to be on your own. Besides, I can't let you just walk away. Not when I finally found you. I'm not about to lose you. Not now. Oh no, please, don't try to... Oh, my dear, what were you thinking? Bolt into your feet in your state. You could have been hurt. Here, lie back on the chase. Let me put a pillow under your head. There. I'll fetch you a blanket in a moment. We wouldn't want you to get cold. There. Shh. It's all right, my precious. I know it must be frightening, trying to move and having your body deny you, but it will be all right, I promise. The effects won't last forever. Just long enough for me to get both of us somewhere safe. Now, let sleep fold you in its velvet embrace, and when you wake, everything will be as it ought to be. There you go. Just give in, my dove. Let those heavy eyes close, and let yourself drift off. That's it. Shh. Dream of me, my precious dove. Dream of me, and the wonderful new life we'll have, together. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video.